Hey, good morning, Pastor Steve here. Back to Mark chapter 7, verse 9 this morning. And Jesus said to them, You full well reject the commandment of God that you may keep your own tradition. Remember we said, well, Jesus really said that uh, love God, love people is his basic theology. These guys were more interested in controlling others than in converting them. Their traditions had replaced the boils-down command of Jesus to love God and love people. By the way, Jesus does have some commandments for us. But they too boil down to this truth as well. I fear that as a modern church we've tried to conform the ones around us into a, a, a moral code that we find acceptable. But what we're called to do is to point them to a Savior who will change their hearts, their mindsets, and then guide them to look more like Him. Not like us, for heaven's sakes. We want to mold them into our mold. He wants to conform them to His image, which is far superior. If we pass laws that exclude behaviors that we think are wrong, then the behaviors stop. Well, go undercover, really. But if the light of Jesus shines into a life, he does the inner change that results in a real change of lifestyle, a heart adjustment. Repentance, as God gives it, is a change of mindset, not just a change of rule books. These religious ones, and, and I guess things haven't changed much, have they? But they were more interested in a, a pack meeting than a prayer meeting. They wanted to be experts and have people do it their way. And their way as we see here, was not God's way. Religion vainly tries to build a bridge to God, but Jesus became the bridge builder and the doorway to salvation. You have a choice. You can make disciples for him or make disciples for yourself. You ponder that.